Hello world and energy on the ground, where today we dive into a debate about a plug's design contradiction when discussing energy plants, group generators, or estrogen approvals and certifications, specific details matter. For instance, if this JACA unit provides 3300 watts, it operates with certified 16 MP plugs. Interestingly, it doesn't utilize the 32 pin design. Why is that? Well, considering the three 300 watt power output, 16 amps equate to 3680 watts. Thus, the 16 amp plug handles this capacity efficiently right away. But what kind of generator functions like this? A unit with 5500 watts equaling 24 amps cannot use the 16 pin anymore because it's rated for only 16 amps. To support 5500 watts, a pin capable of handling 24 amps must be used, as illustrated in this example. 7500 watts includes options such as the Crete or Tuna machines equipped with plugs. The 32 zit is reinforced and we ensure you receive the male connector for installation. These 7500 watt models operate at 32 amps, necessitating a 32 amp plug. Similar power levels are unavailable here, but when purchasing equipment like this inverter, what are the implications? I'm uncertain if the camera can capture him here properly, but let me try to show you. As I step closer, I realize I have not just one, but 30 amps here, 30 full amps. It was, however, the peg. What it brings tells me to plug it in here, error. I can't jump to the thermal. Do I have to plug in here? Well, the only thing that comes to mind as some industrial machines come is that they come without the plug and with the two cables so that we can place the CTAT and place those 7,500 watts in those 6,900 that the equipment needs. Not with this one. With all the equipment that exceeds that wing plants like in your homes is like this 16 amp plug. Okay, it can be done any other way. It has to be like this up to here. More information in an energy point if you remember prohibited stop learning.